Hey everybody, Chemist Sean here with Bardonix. Yo. And we're gonna react to the March 8th Nintendo Direct. Before we do, we're gonna do a little pre-show, so if you wanna skip that and go straight to the reactions, check out the descriptions below. That's right. Ooh. ooh. All right, pre-show. We got some time. We're, yes, we're, we do. We're gonna take this nice and slow. So Nintendo, out of nowhere, yesterday, yeah. said, hey, <clears throat> we're gonna do a direct. And it's gonna be uh, 3DS yeah. And, yeah. and Switch. We're gonna have some uh, Nintendo Switch stuff going on um, with a focus on Mario Tennis Aces. Right, right. And that's really all we know. Yeah, it's 25 minutes I think from what I saw, maybe even 30, not sure. But I know it's definitely at least 25 minutes. Okay. Um, I'm excited. What are some things that you would like to see in this Direct? Oh, I mean, <laughs> this Direct, is, they can't spoil us too much on E3 stuff, even though I know you may disagree. <laughs> um, they did it last year with Odyssey. They show us a lot. And even mm -hmm. then, during E3, they showed us even more. So I think last year, they kind of showed us a little too much of the game, even though the game's still somehow surprised. Right. Um, I would like them to not do that this year with whatever their big game is for E3, if that's even their plan. Um, but I would like to see, I want to see more of of Aces because I enjoyed the tennis on Wii U. And even though it was basic, the gameplay was definitely there. So if they expanded on it, it would be a better game. And it looks like they're, they're doing that. Um, we, guess, everybody wants the Smash, you know, port. I think we might see Smash here. That would be great. I mean, I don't know where, but that'd be great. I think, I think, I think Nintendo is going to... Not tease, but they're probably going to announce, hey, here's a big game coming out this year. They're going to show us a little bit, give us right. a little taste, and then we'll get the full-on game at E3. Like they, a they full could, blowout. Yeah. They could do that, and they probably will. I mean, there's been some leaks, and I won't mention them, but there's been some leaks talking about stuff like that. So, Oh, well, good. I haven't... Good. <laughs> good. I don't think I've seen those. Stay away. <laughs> but I think, I think Smash would be perfect because everybody already knows what Smash is. That's very true. Everybody already expects it. Yeah, whether it's a, it's a port, of... an up uh, a port plus, or just a brand a whole brand new game. Right. But everybody wants it. Everybody knows it's coming at some point. So if they were like, "Hey, we've got Smash, and you see Mario and Link and Pikachu and Kirby all go at it, and da 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 da,", da and then okay, more at E three. Yeah, that would be a good way to that's build up fine. hype. And then at E three, they're gonna have playable demos and a bunch of new character reveals. That's what we need though. Yeah. Because if it's a port of Smash four. That we we know we already have the game, right? So if it's a port of Smash Four and they announce it today, they will probably give us a new character We'd have to, yeah. and a new stage. Because they would show it would, us that. Th that's what they've done with every port um, yeah. trailer. They show us they like, show something new, the new stuff exactly. Because yeah. they have to have incentives for us to exactly. rebuy the game. But if it's not a port, if it's just a straight up new game, I could Ooh. see them holding back on oh, yeah. the character roster and just showing four to eight characters most of which probably we would have already seen before but probably still I, I still think they would show a new character regardless yeah i think then so. we get one that'd be awesome if it's yeah. a new smash but it's a lot of work so we'll see okay. we'll see um what else what else are you excited for potentially showing up in this trip? i mean pokemon is not going to be here so i'm not expecting that there's not going to be metroid on here um it'd be cool if we got some fire emblem uh because i know that was supposed to be slated for this year so some Fire Emblem would be nice. Um, just, I don't know. Animal uh, Crossing? Do you think that could show up here? I don't know. There's like no, I don't think there's any indication that's being made. I guess it would depend on if Animal Crossing is coming out this year, they're going to show it now. Right. If it's not coming out this year, maybe they show it at E3 coming later next year. Which they can. They, I mean, they did a Metroid Prime 4 last year. They yeah. showed that tidbit and it's like, hey, it's in development. I think whatever their big holiday game is, if it hasn't yet been announced, they're right. going to announce it and do a little bit of stump something here. Okay. I hope so. Going real back real quick to Pokemon. Yeah. I don't think we'll see Pokemon Switch here. No. However, so I'm actually going to contradict what I just said about about games coming out this year. If Pokemon doesn't show up this year, I'm sorry, at this direct I think they'll still show it at E3, whether or not it's coming out this year or not. Mm. However, if Pokemon is not coming out this year, 
They may not tell us that here. But if it's not coming out this year, instead, I fully expect them to say, here's Virtual Console. Oh, yeah. And guess what? Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Yellow, <laughs> Silver Gold awesome. Crystal. And by the way... Advanced? Here's uh, Sapphire, Emerald... Eh, maybe not, because we just got the the remakes. The remakes. But, but, but the originals would still be cool to I, I I would I wouldn't put it past them to, to do that. As part of an announcement of Virtual Console. Do we think we're going to see Virtual Console? Is that coming out today? I don't know. If, if it is, that'd be out of nowhere. And it'd be awesome. Um, I'd want it, but I just... I, I, I don't know. At this point, I really don't even know what to expect. They just said 3DS game, Switch games, and Mario Tennis Aces. And when I usually do that... They're pretty on the ball. They pretty kind of stick to that. So if we get surprises, that's just them being nice. Do you think... Uh, so thinking of some other third parties, is there anybody else outside of Nintendo that you'd like to see show up here? I'd love to see more Bayo 3. <laughs> and that tweet from uh, Mr. Kamiya <laughs> talking about Nintendo, release a virtual console, give us an actual D-pad on the Pro Controller, or no Bayo 3. <laughs> that's amazing. So what if... That was kind of a troll, and he, they're actually going to announce all three of those things tonight. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> that was like a way of him leaking right, right. that those things are coming. Oh, that'd be great yeah. if Kamiya did that. Like, oh, well, yeah. They announced Virtual Console on the D-pad, so <laughs> yeah. The 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 <laughs> Here you go. All in the same direct. That'd be awesome. I think Square Enix is going to come back oh, again. Project Octopath. Project Octopath needs to show back up And have again. its actual real name, unless that's going to be it. Yeah. By the way, we're we're gonna address the elephant in the room right now. Poor Onyx is suffering <laughs> from illness, so he's it's okay. You can sniff all you want. Sorry if you hear sniffles sniff constantly. Sniff. It's all good. It's terrible. Um but uh uh Project Octopath Traveler is gonna have something coming out. Definitely. If not at this direct, then by E three it'll be the full blowout. I don't think we're gonna see the world ends with you again. No. Not here. No. I am expecting now. A Chrono Trigger announcement. Really I, I called this last year. I said, I pr I am I am a betting man. Square Enix is going to re-release Chrono Trigger. They just released it this week or at the tail end of last week on Steam. Did they really? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't read it. It was a stealth release. Like. It was a stealth release. They just dropped the bomb. Here it is. So if it's out on Steam, I got to think that... Do I think though? I think it'll well I don't know so I guess it's based on the mobile version the one on Steam and people aren't too happy with it. No, I haven't played the mobile version. I actually um, did, and the sprite work was definitely not as good as it was. Before. Oh really? I have the PS One version that came with the with <coughs> Final <Excuse> Fantasy <laughs> Four, and uh, it was not good. Right, right. The I heard loading, loading time terrible. terrible. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna start it up. So I'm gonna we're gonna cut here. We're just gonna jump straight to the video being on screen and get ready. Here we go. Yes. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. Why do these things get me so hyped every time? It can be terrible. But... Hi, everyone. The time has come for today's Nintendo Direct. It's our boy. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide. I have lots of information to share about upcoming games for Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. Lots of information. Up first, some Info Nintendo Info. 3DS headlines. Oh, 3DS. Yeah, we'll get through them. It's the biggest collection in oh, this micro -game game series. Oh, <laughs> The Those are fun. The WarioWare series is coming to this needs to be a Switch. Family of systems. Yeah, Which actually, means, you're right. There's a new way to play <laughs> Wario, strangely satisfying micro games. <laughs> that's, that's ironic. With classics and new additions, <laughs> Don't trip. Oops. there are 300 micro games to enjoy, making this the biggest entry in the series. Press buttons. Yeah, I, I mean, they got to continue to support the 3DS, but... Only Wario could come up with this many control schemes. If this was Think on the fast. Switch, what play style is required you know, it was like a party game. Better yeah, figure it, out. it would make so much money. It'd be so fun too. Hey, some because the mini games are actually are really fun. Looks. This is the most jam-packed game in the series yet. Just look at that face. Even Wario can't contain his wicked grin. WarioWare Gold launches August 3rd. Yeah, they're gonna keep supporting it. It's making them a lot of money. 
Get ready for pulse pounding post apocalyptic oh, this rock this battles. Uh, Race the down enemy rocks and rock them. No, Dylan's dead head. Dead heat breakers. Yes, sir. That's right. Just made a Nintendo character officially. Dylan's dead heat breakers. Yeah, I remember seeing the time, uh, the red flash himself, um, Dylan. Will team up with your own animalized me character. Street Pass. Yes. 3D. Use your whole team. Uh, what in tarnation? Images. Your friends me characters can join the team as gunners. Well, you'll need their help. This almost looks like a platinum game. Yeah. Monsters. Who or what will you and Dylan get tangled up with? Never mind that. There's an enemy invasion to stop, and a frontier in desperate need of some heroes. The it has a unique art game though. Will be available for download May 10th. Yeah, they're downloadables. Yeah. <laughs> the full game, Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers, no, falls mask, into I'm Nintendo Wii Shop on Nintendo 3DS May 24th. All right, get that out of here. Are the brothers and Bowser still better together? All right, another one. Nintendo DS classic <laughs> Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story is back for more gut-busting adventures. Oh, yeah! Mario and Luigi have been tasked with finding a cure for the Blorbs, a disease this, threatening this straight all up life new? in the Mushroom Kingdom. I, or is this but like a... thanks to Fawful, both brothers have been devoured by Bowser, and what? so their journey takes them deep into the belly of the beast, I thought this... leaving Bowser to scour the I feel the like this had already come out. Yeah. The only way forward is to change between the bros and Bowser. The big bad will even beef up for monstrous boss battles fit for a king. Yeah. Take him down in this action-packed RPG. I think this is a, a remake. Maybe. And, uh-oh. Yeah, so Looks like his yeah. boy wants in on the action. Find out what happens behind the scenes in the untold story of Bowser Jr. It's the untold story. Right. When Mario and Luigi, Bowser's inside story plus Bowser Jr.'s journey launches in 2019. 19? They are supporting this bad boy so ever. On <laughs> Pikachu, plus a new amiibo. If, about this Pikachu, if they show Smash today. Different. He's gruff. Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu skin is happening. Like coffee. So I love how they gave him the Delicious Danny DeVito look sounding <laughs> voice. No one knows why. Because back on Gaff, they had a Welcome thing where they were like, Ryan we need City, Danny DeVito. Isn't that Ryan Reynolds that's doing the voice? Live in harmony. It, Ryan Reynolds? But I think recently, so. Pokemon have been That'd be hilarious if it is. And running I have no amok. idea. He's, that's, I'm thinking of the right guy, right? Deadpool? Yeah. yeah. Luckily, is it really Ryan Reynolds? I believe it is. You are on the case, facing each mystery head on. A quick attack! Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> yeah, just think of Deadpool. Did I do it? Yeah. As of today, yeah, that the was game totally is available Deadpool. for pre-purchase in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. The graphics are surprisingly good. Crack the case with Detective Pikachu when the game launches March 23rd. A couple weeks Plus, from now. Keep your eyes peeled for this extra large Detective Pikachu. Yeah, Amiibo which is going to be part of the launches. Smash oh Amiibo. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> That mysterious mansion has reappeared in the Nintendo 3DS remake. Ooh! Wait, why on 3DS? Yeah! I love the first. Ugh, come on! <laughs> I should be happy, but I, I want this on Switch! Look at that! Nintendo GameCube classic Luigi's Mansion has been remade for Nintendo 3DS. Oh, man! This is great, but no! Fans of the I, I didn't get it on GameCube. Game you did it? No. The original I played it. I never Mario beat it. Went missing. Yeah. I chose Smash over this. Yeah. Of a scaredy cat. Okay. But these classic and, uh, ghosts and traps are oh, no match for Star Wars Rogue, Rogue, yeah. Squadron. Rogue Squadron. Besides, the mansion's map will be displayed on the bottom screen. If you work up the courage, fight the ghosts of your past battles in the new boss rush mode. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo 3DS wow. launched right. this year. The sequel I heard was really good too. That's all for Nintendo okay. 3DS. Okay, all right, here come the bombs. So far, so here good. Here we go. Well, let's keep the headlines coming. Yes, let's. It's time for Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I love it. Kirby can even make friends with those characters? What? Oh, like Kirby enemies? Star Allies oh, Star finally Allies, yeah. launches next week. As you fight wow, through your adventure, week. you'll reach dream palaces where, surprise, 
Even fan favorite <laughs> legacy characters can become Kirby's friends. That's well, cool. dream friends anyway. When you're saving that was the so world, it's nice like. to have some yeah. heavy hitters on your side. Even the likes of Oh my gosh, even the UI almost looks like Smash. Yeah. Well, it's the and same Bandana company. Waddle -Dee. Oh, this director. is Hal Laboratory? Yeah. This is, um, what's his name? Um, Eventually, is, um, more Dream Nomura's, Friends uh, will be added Tetsuya to the game oh my God. Oh, man. after launch. I can't believe I'm forgetting that. Yeah, I, I, I know who you're talking about. I just kind don't remember. That, that's his creation. Was Kirby? Yeah. Marks. And Goob. This looks really good, though. I'll tell you what, if my son shows enough interest, it's I, like I will buy this. It's like a dream come true to bring this ragtag crew of characters cool. together Perfect. from across the Kirby series. Kirby Star Allies launches on Nintendo oh, Switch yeah, March 16th. Literally and next week. The first free update will be available March Ooh, free 28th. Updates. Oh, oh yeah, subscribe. a quick reminder. A free demo is oh, available now in Nintendo That's cool. Shop well, that was already out, I thought. No, no. Is are friends it? He just said it's just a reminder. Oh, never mind. An epic tale returns. <laughs> Whoa! Okami? We were just talking about this. Okami. The grand adventure HD. in classical Japanese style rises again in the but HD if version. it has the motion controls from the, the Wii land version? From a terrible curse, the legendary Okami Amaterasu was resurrected, setting off yeah. on a quest with the wandering artist Isu. Overcome challenges using the power of the gods, the celestial brush. With near so brush strokes, this... you can make a variety oh, of no, miracles it'll just be on the touch to fruition. Pad. Well, in the Nintendo Switch version, there you go. use touchscreen control in handheld mode. In handheld, in handheld. Or use the Joy-Con yes! control. Yeah, I was buying. I'm, that's it. Or I didn't top. buy it on PS4 because of Both that. Methods offer I'm buying it on the Switch, way baby. To solve puzzles and defeat your foes. We were talking before the before we started recording this that cast. I hadn't played it. I gotta solve mysteries. What is this? The figure. And yeah, the comic figure up there on the wall. What awaits at your journey? Oh, I've heard it's a solid, solid. Yo, yeah, I remember when this came out, Nintendo and it was it was Nintendo blowing Switch so many people summer. away. Oh, no physical release, but that's okay. Eat up and throw sushi on Nintendo Switch. Is this Cookie Mama? An adventure unlike any other. What in the world? Mm, this is not Cookie sushi Mama. Action, <laughs> sushi Striker. striker. <laughs> the way of Sushida. What in the world? The story heard takes about place this on after the bitter sushi struggles. Raised in a world where sushi is forbidden, oh, Musashi must wage all-out conveyor belt sushi battles it's to defeat the Empire anime. and topple its sushi monopoly. Oh, <laughs> this is cool. The basics are simple. Just eat more and more sushi to pile up plates of matching colors on a table. Then oh, throw so it's all like a, it's a puzzle. Mix up your strategies to crush your enemies. Game if you manage the to pull mechanic. off a special move created by one of your sushi sprites, you may be able to get the upper hand in battle. Of course, there's a multiplayer mode too. Battling oh, fellow sushi cool. strikers yeah. online can get intense. <laughs> sushi striker, the way of Sushida I love how simultaneously on yeah. the Nintendo 3DS June 8th. The song. More travel. Yes, thank more you. Here we go. And more, launch info. more launch info. Yeah. Hello. This is Masashi Takahashi from Square Enix. Today, Music I have game. three news oh. items to share. It was with just you. called Octopath First, Traveler. I'd like to introduce two more main characters. What lies beyond the horizon? Merchant. I already like her. <laughs> Meet Tressa the Merchant. She sets off to find her own adventure and gain experience in her job. Her path action is purchase. <laughs> which means she can obtain special items from townsfolk. I helped out someone in a bind. Simple as that. Apothecary. Not feeling him. Oh, but he's an apothecary. Oh. The apothecary. He embarks on his journey to heal those suffering across the continent. Oh, his story his could be really sad. Yeah. Inquire. He can, inquire. He can, can tell by the music. Info. Others aren't privy to in standard conversations. Oh, I love the music in this game. Next, let's talk about jobs in battle. Okay. Characters start out with a base job, but they can equip an additional job to use in battle. Ooh. Oh, look, their outfits yeah, change. Yeah, that's cool. For instance, if another character like the Merchant Tressa equips the Dancer job, the combined jobs and abilities expand your strategic options. This looks so good. Finally, we know many of you have been wondering about the release date. Oh. The game launches. Holy July. crap! Hi. That's like... Right after E3. Additionally, we will be offering a special edition oh of the game. Oh my god, look at that. Inside, you'll find a pop-up book introducing the oh, eight characters the in your places yeah. of origin, a helpful map for your adventure, Dude, a sound is... selection CD, and the a replica coin based on the in-game currency. 
This special edition will be released the same day as the regular version of the game. That's pretty cool. I might actually pre-order Your that. comments have provided the development team with reference yes. points and inspiration as we head into the home stretch of our work with the game. Please look forward to the release of Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler? Yeah. That's the official name? I can't believe July 13th. I'm looking forward to that. Heck yeah. What happens when an Otaku Assassin enters the game world? This is, uh... Uh, the uh, what's his name? Gaming console, the Death Drive uh, Mark Travis. Travis. Yeah, no more heroes. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't think of it. We'll say the Killer Seven. On a rampage Same guy from Killer Seven, I think. Did you see that? Game? Who makes this game? Racing, puzzles. It's not Platinum. A total of no, no, no. Different game titles. With his that team that area right man, there looked just like near Automata. Every last buggy <laughs> kind of did. the world. Chain his simple yet exhilarating basic attacks and his arsenal of skill attacks to cut them down. This is definitely not like. The old ones, a brutal boss lurks at the end of each game. Creatively combine your moves. I can't to say I know very much about this, but it's odd. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for co-op multiplayer. Oh, nice! And partner up with the one and only Batman. So is this like Did a mention the like a gauntlet run? Tells a new story? I mean, I, I'm there playing No More Heroes, but they Travis really strikes really look again. Like that. No More Heroes launches hmm. exclusively they were on more, Nintendo um, Switch in like 2018. Action games. Like like Nero, Pelta. In Dark Souls, every Yo! challenge is an opportunity. Plus, Plus amiibo. amiibo. Are we gonna see some gameplay? Dark Souls. A world wrought with despair and hope. Wow, this looks pretty good. Looks pretty sharp. In yeah. the seemingly endless cycle of death, one clean victory becomes a moment you'll never forget. Now you can savor your accomplishments anytime, anywhere, for the first time on console with Nintendo Switch. Before launch, there's going to be a network test, so players can try the game. Nice! This will be your first Dark Souls experience. Welcome to a brave new world. Wow, that's really cool. Separately. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't! Dude, I need to buy that. He is totally <laughs> gonna be in Smash! Oh my god! <laughs> that would kill me! He is gonna be in Smash! In Solar? Oh my god, I would die. That is so <laughs> hype! How's it going? <laughs> oh my god, Amiibo! Well, I have a quick reminder. Did you hear that my Nintendo members can yes. now redeem gold points? That actually scared me for a minute because I noticed there were no other title cards after Dark Souls, so I'm like, oh great, Mario Tennis, and that's the end. I don't know how long we've been watching this for. Uh, I don't either, but it doesn't feel like it's been that long. Yeah, it feels like maybe half the time, 15 minutes. Okay, we have more Nintendo Switch headlines, but first... Let's shine a nice long spotlight. Thank you. One title in particular. Mario Tennis. Get that yeah. out of the way. I don't want that to be the end. All right. Okay. Oh, that means Nintendo's got bombs to drop yeah. after. Mario series favorites. All right. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Oh, that's fine. Tricked out shots ever. Mario Tennis Aces. There are more than 15 <laughs> playable characters. Wow, Louis! What? <laughs> a chomp? Did they say more than 15? Because they showed 15, meaning there's still some hidden ones. Yeah. Today we'll mainly cover the essentials of the refined tennis gameplay. Okay. Yeah, this is coming out really soon. There's a variety of shots to serve up. Well, they haven't said yet, like have they? A basic shot. I don't think so. Top spin. I think they said summer. Slice. Oh yeah. And a lob that will your opponent's head. Just to name a few. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just definitely don't want to get this. Why not aim and then shoot? What? Oh, that's cheating. Introducing the all-new zone shot. It lets you pinpoint any spot you want to aim at using motion controls and send the ball crashing down. Well, I guess you're not playing this on the same screen as somebody Those shots else. Are really powerful. So that's why so you're able to do that. By one, your racket will take some damage. If your racket takes three hits, it'll break. Forcing you no! To your Luigi! One. No! <laughs> an instant KO. Always Luigi. <laughs> but don't give up hope. You can stop a zone shot with a block. Return a shot with perfect timing and you'll block Aww, yeah. protecting your racket. So it's gonna be more skill based, it seems. It's no generous. small feat to nail the timing just right. That's where zone speed comes into play. Okay. 
When using zone speed, the world around you moves in This looks a lot more intense than the version I think it was on the GameCube. Speed. Yeah. Like yeah. chasing down a quick shot. It's no instant win card. Was it, it the GameCube it or was it the N64? It was the GameCube. <laughs> Of course, I don't think the 64 had one. I think it was the GameCube that I think Because I remember when it was announced, it was this big deal. It was like, oh, they're doing a whole new sports game with Mario. Yeah. And then I think they did baseball and soccer after tennis. Mario Strikers was the fastest way to fill up your gauge. That was actually really good. Whoa. Is that your get out of jail free card shot? Probably. You can jump over to knock it back. Yeah. Oh, it's we just did it twice maneuver. in a row. If you don't judge the timing or distance correctly, oh. you may waste your energy or lose a point. <laughs> but or lose the game. Your energy gauge will get a big boost. Oh, so you have an energy gauge. Fill up your gauge and it's go time. Initiate your <laughs> ultimate shot. Oh boy. The special shot. Fatality. <laughs> it will eat up your energy in a big way. <laughs> aim right at Oh, I guess you don't want to aim. Oh. Yeah, finish yeah, him. Yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> 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 However, not even a special shot guarantees a win. There's always a chance it could be blocked. So oh. watch out. In these intense Damn. matches, oh. every move you make presents a risk and hopefully a reward. Your energy gauge could be the key to victory. Wow, there is a lot of strategy to this. This is, this is pretty cool. Or use it for some defensive zone speed. Yeah, they definitely improved because it was not this uh, technique. Let's say you go for the zone shot. And this is just showing the for a surefire point. Just the game. Just the straight up playing tennis, right. not like those bonus modes that they had where like you were bouncing him into piranha plants or whatever. Non-stop split second strategies may be the best part about Mario nice Tennis Aces. That's some good grass. <laughs> it it is. Online, you can play a match with your friends or other players. Free until the paid Nintendo online Switch online. In the in the stuff at the bottom. Yep. It's coming. Match oh, I love the. Oh no, wait, that says online tournament. Event. What a participation bonus. So. Actually, you online tournament, that's actually really, really cool. I was thinking, characters. like, like Melee, where you could do, There's like, an offline tournament mode, with computers. Which allows oh, you to use your so Joy-Con like you, a Yeah, but that's... Racket. Even Four online, that's pretty cool. Backhand. Oh, you can... Slice. So you can play it on the TV. And lock. You can play like this. This mode is perfect if you want to play the game casually with your friends and family. I was gonna... Yeah, casually is... Exactly. Yeah, no You're not gonna play that precise. Heck. Look how much slow- oh, swing mode. Is that how much slower everything was? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, no, wait. It was just a different- I love Rebels, though. Find to <laughs> Giant <laughs> chomp! Now, I'm gonna main chomp, dude. <laughs> Plus, the story mode will offer other twists to the See? good old game of tennis. Oh, wow. Was that a- It's like a mirror. It was like a- Oh, my God. Yeah. Luigi. Mario Tennis Aces launches June 22nd. June 22nd, nice. Okay. They've got a game for June, they've got a game for July. Oh, and one last thing. As we approach the game's launch, oh, nice. we decided to hold a pre-launch online tournament. 1v1 way, online tournament. You can try out Mario Tennis Aces <laughs> for yourself. Time. Okay. We'll announce the details at oh, a later so that's, date, oh, okay. so please stay right. tuned. Kind of like the um, Splatoon pre-launch um, Splatfest. <laughs> okay, Koizumi. We'll have more on Mario Tennis Aces right. in the future. What else we got? Just a little bit. Let's continue with some Nintendo Switch headlines. Not even blue, headlines. Man. More than one. Captain, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Is this a new Captain one? Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is bound for Nintendo no, Switch. No, it's a port. port. Or a variety of tricky sandbox style levels well, you know what's really funny about this? Japanese box I'd probably want to buy it here you the Wii U. The like, my son would love this. Of hidden treasures. You didn't buy it? You didn't have and this on the Wii U? This time, I never bought it. Included a few super oh, Mario Mario Odyssey! Now you can explore locales from a variety of kingdoms. Check out New Donk City. There's the bonus stuff. By the way, did you know Captain Toad also mm -hmm. appeared in Super Mario Odyssey? Why, the yes. The Nintendo Switch version can be played with a friend by sharing a pair of Joy-Con controllers. 
While one player controls Captain yeah, Toad, oh, cool. the other can assist with things like turn up cover fire, so you can enjoy tracking treasure together. That's cool. We also plan to release a Nintendo 3DS version with oh, 3D wow. visuals and touchscreen <laughs> controls. It feels like Nobody there's a box cares. garden right near me. <laughs> Captain Toad Treasure Tracker That's launches. Cool, July. There's another July the game. Same day as friggin' Octopath. Jeez. Hey, huh? who turned out the lights? Why do I feel like I know this? <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, Onyx. I'm rebuying this game! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Under freaking tail! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, yes! I hope you don't win forecasting this year because I don't want to have to buy this again. Dude, this game is so good though! Coming eventually! <laughs> Toby Fox, you scoundrel. That's a pretty. That's pretty cool. Uh, Gaming icon. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god! What? Until it happens. All three of these trying to keep games are debuting I, I, on a Nintendo Switch <laughs> for the very first time. Spin. <laughs> Jump and wow. Forget PlayStation exclusivity, buddy. What the well, hell? I, I think I knew that it wasn't going to stay PlayStation Everything exclusive forever, but just seeing this is just so funny. That's hilarious, though. Crash on games, Nintendo. So they'll look great on your TV this remaster of the classic Ruined Naughty Dog Dr. game <laughs> on your Nintendo Switch. In Crash Bandicoot. Form an uneasy alliance wow. with the mad scientist in Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Yeah. You know, it's funny, I was almost this close to buying it on the sale. Oh, I would rather get it on the Switch I know. if I was going to get it. <laughs> Believe it or not, oh, the Crash Bandicoot for a minute there, I thought that was Crash Team Racing. The to Nintendo Switch July 10th. Sony, Sony will scoop that up before Nintendo oh, yeah. gets it. Little Nightmares oh, Little Nightmares? Here. From award-winning independent developer Tarzier Studios comes a charmingly a horrific game. adventure like no Whoa, other. that's creepy. It is very creepy. <laughs> Whoa, that's the really creepy. The platformer Little Nightmares will trap you in the Maw, a vast vessel of mystery haunted like... by corrupted souls. Wasn't this at, like, the Xbox announced the at the Xbox conference a year or two ago? Two haunting tales in one package. This has that claymation six, sort of... kids' separate adventures, you must face their childhood fears across all eight chapters. Yeah, I definitely want to get this. all past downloadable content. I just... I didn't think it was Each room is a cell. Each resident is a threat. Wow. And both present complex 3D The third party to support of Switch is incredible. Yeah. Not to mention, you what can a receive the Nintendo the last, Switch exclusive uh, in game Paku Mask sure. by tapping the Pac Man amiibo figure. Oh my god. <laughs> Little Nightmares Complete Edition releases on May 18th. You know all these amiibos we've been talking about throughout the entire show? Well, here you go. Here comes yeah, right. Super Smash Brothers. Is coming to Nintendo oh, cool. Switch. South Park. Jesus, all this third party support. to announce that South Park the Fractured But Whole is coming to Nintendo <laughs> Switch. <laughs> I love it. Here, fractured South But Park Whole. Just hearing that. Outrageously that's... offensive uh. superhero adventure. By the way, I hear these games actually have time, solid RPG. Anywhere. Like, uh, Stick of Truth was great. I heard this one's even avatar. better for making gameplay. Come on down to South yeah. Park and join Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman's superhero team. Then have yourself a time with a battle system I as cannot believe this game is on the Nintendo Switch, dude. And it's being highlighted in a class. Nintendo Direct. Level up. Build your notoriety. They know. Craft they know their items, audience now. They've wisened up. And more. They figured it out. All past DLC will be available for purchase individually or as wow. a part of the season pass. DLC 1, Danger Deck. Alright, Ubisoft. And DLC 2, yeah. From Dusk Till Casa Bonita, will be available at launch. Ubisoft. And DLC 3, Bring the Crunch, will tell an additional story when it releases later this year. South Park, The Fractured But Whole, releases on Nintendo <laughs> Switch April 24th. They're trying. Oh, boy. Alright, I see one more at the end there. Oh, there's Hyrule one Warriors, one. Definitive edition. Oh, yeah, oh, we didn't get a launch date. Well, exactly? That sounds like we're about to... Let's take a quick moment for a release date announcement. The heroes and villains of the Legend of Zelda series are about to spring into action This game was actually really more. fun. This I played it with my brother co-op. I think they said this spring. May 18th. Oh, like right May around the corner, 18th, yeah. Only on Nintendo Switch. There you go. Plenty of stuff coming out of this thing. 
Still arms another fans. one after this? Don't miss I thought this. They were <laughs> arms too! <laughs> the Arms League is pleased to extend an invitation to all you hardcore fans out there who've been playing the game, enjoying all the added characters and stages, <laughs> oh, going no online to play the new party series. We're happy to I don't mean to make fun, but... Arms but yeah, yeah, just... Canada Online Open. Oh, okay. Freeway will take place in the game's online ranked match mode from March 8th to March 18th. Eight top players will then move on to the online finals March 31st. All finalists will receive a custom art piece created by the development team. Oh, that's cool. We'll be streaming the event live from Nintendo of America. That's kind of yeah. cool, though. That's very cool. An online actual tournament. For more Nintendo's definitely backing weeks. this. And if you're Smash not comes out, fan just yet. when Smash well, comes out, that's the end. News. This is all prelude to Smash. We'll all the online, all the tournament stuff Nintendo they've been doing with this and Splatoon. Yeah. It's yeah. all build up for Smash. What you think of the world's stretchiest fighting game? On March 21st. Producer Kosuke Yubuki will discuss the development of ARMS at the Game Developers I'm Conference. Smash? I think and they're Hisashi Ogami will present separately on the Splatoon franchise. I don't know what I end with. So look out for coverage of both. Oh, GDC. Inkopolis News wow. Bulletin. This might be it. It's update time. No, it's no. too. I know, but that there's no there was no card after this one. Exactly. This is it. This April, Splatoon 2 is getting an update. What Version 3.0 is gonna coming. be happy about this. Wait, Here's April. a brief and briny taste of what's to come. 100 new Damn. pieces appear. <sighs> that means fresh looks, just in time for spring. I would have at least ended with Captain Plus, Toad. Plus, more stages. Hey, Piranha Fish. Here. Oh, new map Camp too. Triggerfish. Oh. And the hottest date spot Wahoo for the hippest world. inklings. Wahoo World. And I need to get back what? into this game. But rank X is here. I like that music. Rank X is an awesome extreme music. rank. Even higher than S+. Plus. What? More details okay, that's are cool. coming soon. That's really cool. Once you meet certain conditions, Callie will appear in Octo Canyon. Nice. The world of Splatoon 2 continues to evolve. I'm glad to keep so doing this. don't miss out. It's all free updates. Like, talk about supporting your game. What? Oh. What are the world... Now, a word from the Squid Research Lab. Check mm. out their latest video. Oh, that's flat. That's a... oh are they bringing Octolings in? No, are they bringing Octolings in? Or o o whatever the hell it's called. Yo, this looks so good. See, they're not squids, they're... That, they had a war. There was literally a war between the Squid Links and the Octolings. And like the octopus were almost wiped out, and they live literally underground. And the squidlings are like the ruler. It's crazy. What is going on? What? <laughs> what this is, is bizarre. <laughs> is that a silverfish? So. There's music right now, though. Yo, if they're bringing in Auckland, this is huge. Oh, that's it looks like it. <laughs> I forget what those fishes are called. They've got the weird face. <laughs> Yo. What is this? Yeah, what is, is this? Is this a level creator? Oh, a whole new campaign, maybe. What? Oh my gosh, now I want Super Monkey Ball. This looks really, really cool. Yo! Okay, I'm kind of sort of hype right now. I say Octopath. Oh my god. Platoon 2. Octo. Expansion. DLC. Nice. Yep. Alright. Hello. <laughs> Squid Research Lab here. So, how was it? You just got a sneak peek at the first paid downloadable content for Splatoon 2. And it looks like a hefty like, new single player yeah. mode, Octo Expansion. 
You'll play as the new character, Agent 8, who looks like an octoling. She wakes up on the platform of a dark subway station without her memories. Looks like some kind of shady underground test facility. <laughs> In this massive subterranean world, there are 80 of these test facilities connected by a subway. You'll depart from the station with purpose. This looks so a variety of missions to wait Agent 8 and her talents. Look at that. Expect new stories to unfold, shedding new light on beloved characters. You may think you know everything about the world of Splatoon, but these waters run deep, and so does the lore. Yeah, I was gonna say the lore in this game is so Escape actually from like these twisted terrible. Depths, and and you'll way. be able oh. to join multiplayer matches as an Octoling. Yeah, there you go. We hope you enjoy this fresh perspective. That's really, really, really cool. I see what they did there. Since now. Octa means eight fresh. in Latin, that means 2018 is the year of the Octoling. <laughs> <laughs> God, Splatoon 2 Octo expansion will launch this summer. Nice. After today's Nintendo Direct, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will be available for advanced purchase so... in Nintendo eShop. I think, with this this I think you're probably right, unless they do the one more thing. You still haven't told us anything about today. the holidays. Are they just oh, saving that for E3? E3 Squid Research Lab. Yeah, I guess Hopefully this is Splatoon it. Hopefully Splatoon 2 will continue to splatter our expectations. The music's rising. You bet! Yeah. That's all for today's yeah, Nintendo Direct. Oh, well, actually, we have one more announcement. What do you mean? Please take a look at our last video for the Oh, I hate oh my you. God, come on. I did the... Just something. Something good. Splatoon? Again? It smash! It smash! Splatoon! It smash! Squidling! Come on! Come on, show me Mario! Come on! Come on, I'm calling it! Don't tell me this, because my heart's pounding right now. Look how fast they're moving. This is literally showing their abilities. I'm telling you, Mario's gonna show oh. her. <laughs> this is CGI, this is it! <gasps> I told you, dude! Yo! Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. So, oh, the, 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 uh, breath Mario. of the wild. I can't even talk. Uh, what are they? What? 2018. 2018. All right, there. That's the tease. Holy that's moly! That's the game. It's coming out this year. That's the holiday. That's game. That's the holiday game. That's the E three blowout. Oh, Nintendo! You troll, man! I I got so let down there. I was like, man, man. I mean, excited. I, I was happy with Platoon two, but that right there, when I saw that, I'm like, this looks just like the reveal trailer for the first Platoon back in like 2014. And I'm thinking like, why would, why are they showing this again? And then it literally. Duh, Squidlings in oh Smash. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, well, let's talk about this. So welcome to the post show. <laughs> let's talk about what we just saw here. We got to start with Smash. Yeah, of course we have to. I mean... To... <laughs> um, that was freaking... <sighs> that was such a great way to reveal it, because I'm like, okay, whatever. The eye, I'm like, what is she looking at? You see the you logo? You can see the I'm logo. Like, yeah. It smashed. So that was a little weird at the end. So what was with? So the lights went down low. Like so, they, so they do their battle. Okay, all right. Splatoon two. By the way, we totally called. They were gonna do one character if they announced Smash. And we did. And there it was. <laughs> and uh, so then, so they're doing their battle, and then one disappears, and then the lights go down, and she's just like, what? And then the Smash symbol comes up. Oh my god! And it almost turned into like a horror. Flick. It looked like a Mario, and like because it, it shows you like the logo, and you see all the characters, all the fighters at the bottom. I want to go back. I'm not going to do it now, but I want to go back after this and look at oh, we and see who was down there because it said HAL Laboratory in the bottom right corner. It said Nintendo slash HAL Laboratory. So can HAL do both this and um, Kirby? Kirby, Kirby's done. It's coming out next week. 
But I mean, it's a port. I'm telling you. Is this, this going to be the port? It has to be a port. I There's noticed no they didn't put a switch there. They just said Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. So we don't know what it's going to be called yet. No, and I mean, the maybe they'll other, maybe they reboot it and they just call it Super Smash Brothers. The other one was called Super Smash Brothers. It wasn't F Smash Four. It was literally Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS. So it, they didn't really give it a oh, subtitle. So they literally could port that and say Super Smash Brothers for Switch. Were they not? So they weren't in the Wii U version. The Squillings no. or the 3DS version? They were not. Wow. Okay, Link. That looked like Breath of the Wild. He then. definitely had the Breath of the Wild outfit there because he had like the the, the hair the, style, the shaggy hair, yep. pointy hair, and like the the you could see like the, it was like a shirt. I almost saw the bow. I feel from Breath of the Wild, so it looked like it. So so new skins, obviously new skins for all the characters. We're still assuming it is a port, and I it, all intents it probably is, but they have not until we go look at that group of fighters. Oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> I'm excited. I, that's a great way to build up hype, like. Splatoon 2 has been a phenomenal success. It really has sold millions of copies. You put those characters in Smash. I mean, this is just really smart for them to do. And it's a perfect game to have in the holidays. Because you have... Assuming that we don't even have... Oh my god, if we have Pokemon as well. And I, we're not getting Pokemon. Fire Emblem, I can see. Pokemon's not happening now. Not with Smash coming out. I don't think they're going to do Pokemon this year. So that leak was half right and half wrong on a few things. I feel like I can talk about it now, but yeah, what was the um, it? It said that we were gonna see no more heroes, which we did. Uh -huh. um, they said we were gonna see um, a Fire Emblem CGI trailer, which we did, did not, not get. That could be for E3. I think Fire Emblem is an E3 game. Isn't it supposed to be this year anyway? Yeah, that's a thing. So it'll be that'll be. So I bet Fire Emblem will be their November game. Right before the holidays, Smash will probably be... No, Smash would have to be the November game. That's where... November so, is literally where games sell the most. It's like November and December. But if you get it out in October, it'll sell like hotcakes in November anyway. I think, if I remember correctly, I think the original Smash 4 came out in October. Okay. It was like October of 2014. I mean, so Melee came out in... That was oh like gosh. December, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was December. That one was delayed. Because GameCube supposed to come came out. out in November. Yeah. And that one got delayed because of like some coding, which... Rest in peace, Iwata. He actually helped with that coding yeah. finale. Um, but, I, I mean, it, it kind of sucks that Smash like, took over everything that we saw in the conference, but that's the impact of the game. Well, no. I mean, that's uh, everybody's wanted uh, has wanted this since they announced the Switch. That's right. Like, just give, oh it, give, it, give a Smash. You take... <laughs> All the people that skipped the Wii U version have said, oh, great. Well, at least I know I can at least have a new console with Smash. Uh -huh. And we've just been waiting for it. It's finally here. And not just that. It's a portable version of the, oh, of the good game. Yes. Like, I can bring my game over to your house and say, yo, we're, we're playing Smash. Yep. Let's go. Yep. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Mm. Tournament play is going to be perfect. You just bring the consoles, hook them up, and you're good to go. So so let's, let's move away from Smash real quick. Wait. No. One more thing, though. Okay. We need GameCube controllers. I yeah. can't play Smash with those Joy Cons. Well, There's no way. Okay, so part so so where I was going, well, Luigi's the best character, but um, <laughs> if we Smash is coming out. later this year, we're probably going to get our big blowout at E3. E3, they're going to show off Virtual Console, the paid online service. They're going to detail all of that at E3 Man. because they're going to do that with Smash. Uh -huh. That's because they know Smash is the one that they can launch it with. Absolutely. And so, not just that. If they're, oh, my God. That's I'm, all going to happen. My mind is then. going places, man. They're not going to do it because they don't want one to take care of the to take over the other. But if they're smart and they know Smash sells, they can literally do the Smash 4 port, assuming that's what it is, right? Uh, release it with the GameCube peripheral, which it will sell. Mm -hmm. And GameCube controllers, again, you know, just whatever. It's, that's really the only, play to play Smash, the only way to play Smash. Release the virtual console and since you have the GameCube, hey, throw some GameCube games on there. Wait a year, release Melee HD uh, yeah. on the virtual console. Yeah. Maybe a couple years later. Yeah. Depending on how well Smash does. It's but you know what? Well. If virtual console is coming later this year as part of Smash, and they didn't show Pokemon here, Pokemon's not coming out this year. It's it's not happening. A lot to have virtual Pokemon. console is going to happen and all those Pokemon games that they put on virtual console so far they will hard advertise those so everybody who's wanted to play them on the Switch but do you think there you go would, like, they're going to hold off on Pokemon until it's perfect 
They're not going to screw that game up. But, but well, the rumor was that Game Freak was being pushed by Nintendo to really get that out this year. I, I understand. I don't think it's going to happen. If they didn't show it here, it could still show up at E3, but I, I really don't I mean, think when it did, will. When did Sun and Moon come out? It's been two years, right? Sun and Moon came out in 2016. Sun and Moon came out two years ago. Sun and Moon Ultra, Ultra Sun, came right? out last year. So usually what they do is they put their B team on the like yeah, the extra yeah, one. Yeah. So they could have they could literally have had the A team working on Pokemon Switch from the end of 2016's development. But depending on how uh, depending on how much new stuff they want to do, if they're trying to make a it have to be Breath of the Wild or an Odyssey oh. version of Pokemon, they probably need the extra year. Yeah, Breath I mean, well, Breath of the Wild came out or Breath of the Wild started being developed like in 2014 and that came out in 2017. So it was almost a three-year development cycle, yeah. so and they had go. help from the Monolith Soft people. So there you go. Let's uh, let's let's jump off of Pokemon. What else uh, was in here that you really liked? I'm excited for Dark Souls. I want that amiibo <laughs> <laughs> really bad, actually. There's a public beta coming. That's cool. That's really cool too. Um, realistically speaking, I I want Dark Souls portable, but I know the specs already. They've already said it's 1080p, 30 FPS. I've got a 4K yeah, TV. Yeah, I might got a pro. Gotta play the 60 FPS. I want the 60 4K. FPS 4K. Like I, yeah. you know, so it's unfortunate. Like I would like it to be. If it was exclusive on the Switch, obvi, like I want it, but I think I'd rather just get it on on a one of the other consoles. Right. Uh, but I still do want to get the game, and I really want that amiibo. Um, I like the Splatoon 2 stuff they showed. I'm pretty excited for that expansion. You, you don't care. Rudy's gonna be excited. Am I right, buddy? <laughs> um. What was it they show? Project Octopath. I am. Ah, no, super. we can't call it that anymore. No, it's Octopath just straight Traveler. up Octopath Traveler. And I'm okay with that. And what that. was it? July 13th. 11th, 13th? I'm um, very excited for that. The music in that game just has me like. I'm, I, in, uh, I'm all in on the merchant. Yeah. Day one, that's my first <laughs> merchant. character. Merchant. <laughs> Why? She just. As soon as she appeared on screen and whoever her voice actor was, like. Just, just like it I just huh? I just that was everything right there. So you just like that I was just like, like perfect. That's what I, that's aesthetically so pleasing. So when the game to comes me. out, you're literally gonna pick that. I'm picking character. the merchant right off the gate. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> no, it looks when good. does the merchant get to go fight goblins? Seriously, usually the merchants are the ones that are like, "Help me, my yeah. caravan oh my is God, on the side of the road. Right. I need your help, <laughs> old warrior mage." Right. No, I want to be like, "Give me back my money!" Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that game was gonna be good. And when they like paired her up with Dancer, and she just went, <laughs> yeah, and like all these. Okay, yeah, yeah. Octopath Travelers looks good. Fantastic. Looks really, they didn't good. show Chrono Trigger. It ain't happening, buddy. Ain't I happening. think that'll happen. That'll happen someday. Maybe, maybe if they have a virtual console. I maybe by E three or something. I Square. Okay, let's talk about Square Enix real quick. So they announced, and this isn't Chrono, but they announced late last year. There are multiple Final Fantasy announcements coming this year. Multiple. Right. Because there's this whole anniversary thing going on. Is it the... I think it was actually last year. Yeah, it was the 30th anniversary last year. But they're making all the announcements this year. Um, so... Mm, yeah. Final Fantasy 1 through 6 on the Switch. That'd be nice. That'd be pretty cool. The Final Fantasy... Um, what is it? What's the one game that they haven't um, remade yet? I think 5? I think it's the one game that they haven't remade like into three D into three D graphics like the three D S. I think they did. Did they five. four? No, I'm sorry, you're right. They, they did five and six, six together. No, they haven't done six yet. Six is the game. Oh, that you they mean like remade. straight up remade in like three D? If they remade six, which is another big, I don't think favorite, they'll do that. They should. Well, not. I'm sorry. They won't remake it like four and five were remade. You don't think so? No. If they're gonna do six, they're gonna do. Seven quality. Seven that, R like seven remakes. Uh huh. Oh, that's God. gonna come later. Six isn't gonna happen anytime after seven soon. remake comes out. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not to the extent. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics Two is gonna happen. <laughs> no, um, it's not. We'll come back to that during our E three discussions. Yeah, we will. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Captain Toad, I guess. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, I mean, could be for, cool. for my son, I think he'll enjoy it a lot. I never got it back in the Wii U, so I'm probably going to buy it for him um, this year when it comes out. You know what I just realized was missing? Mi <laughs> missing? Missing. <laughs> right there on the screen. Yoshi. Oh, wow, yeah. We didn't, we didn't see, see Yoshi. Yoshi. And that's supposed to come out really soon, too. It's coming out, uh, before summer. I think, before E3. Huh. So that's interesting. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion on 3DS. Oh, that was disappointing. So, that was disappointing. I wanted that on the Switch. That could have been on the Switch. That should have been on the Switch. 
But it's okay. I mean, they, they need to support their, their 3DS. And who knows? Maybe Pokemon might be a dual release. They might put Pokemon on 3DS as well. And Switch. Like a really No, they won't version. do No, they're not going to do that. They could. They won't. How do you know? They won't. They don't announce it for Switch and then downgrade it. And they're not going to chain it to the 3DS. I mean, they did it with Fire Emblem Warriors. They're not going to do it with Pokemon. Really no, good. they're going to they're going to step off the handhelds. Well, they're, I mean, it's still handheld. But. They're gonna they're gonna support the Switch. That's crazy, man. That's gonna happen. Like the idea of of their portable not having the newest Pokemon game, like that's a major risk Nintendo's willing to take because you're talking about yeah, the Switch is selling amazingly, but you've got fifty plus million people owning a 3DS, and almost all of them buy Pokemon, so it's it's a major risk for them. You know, money wise. Yeah, but the Switch has sold how many? I think it's already past ten million. And no, I think it's sold more than the Wii U actually. It's it's or 14, it's on track to be one of the best selling consoles of all time. Mm-hmm. I don't think they have to worry. No. And, and if anything, they know that Pokemon on Switch will be a more. system seller. That's very true. So, uh, a couple more things before we wrap up. Uh, Mario Tennis. I'm. Yeah, that's that's the other one I was thinking. That I'm looked in. pretty good. I'm in. I want it. Yeah, forty dollars. It's probably gonna be sixty. Bucks. Maybe, maybe thirty. It was fifty when. Well, Mario. Can I, do I hear twenty? <laughs> <laughs> Bargain bin for five ninety nine. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I I don't think I'd pay sixty for it. Um, I don't think I'd get enough out of it for sixty. But yeah. uh, I have like how much is Arms now? I think it's still sixty. Bucks. It's still sixty bucks. Nintendo games Freaking Nintendo. Ever. I know. Yeah. I know. Unless hmm. they put the, the sale themselves, yeah. Um. Was there anything else? I'm just hella excited for Smash. So, so, so then let's talk real quickly. We're going to talk about this in some of our podcast stuff later in the year. So make sure you subscribe to us. That's right. Uh, check out some of our other videos. We do a lot of these uh, discussions with a couple other guys here um, who couldn't make it tonight. But uh, right. E3, Nintendo specifically, what do you think we're going to see after watching this direct? Metroid Prime 4. No. We have to no. get some Metroid Prime 4. Dude, it's been a year since they talked about it. That, we gotta get Metroid That Prime 4. was the Final Fantasy VII announcement. No, 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 no. They're, that was the look at how they've been five going. years later. Then we're gonna heck have it. no. Yeah. It's look, look, look how they've been going. Look, look at their development cycle. They showed off uh, Breath of the Wild in 2014. They were silent for almost a year. Then they showed actual gameplay. Then, of course, because the Switch was coming out, they delayed it. And they kept delaying it because they said we can release this on the Wii U. It it's just not gonna be right. You know. So that's the reason why Zelda took so long as well, I think. I think the game would have come out in 2016 like had it not been for the Switch. Odyssey, we get it revealed, not a year later, it's in our hands. It was like a year and a half. I don't think we're going to see any major Nintendo game at E3 that won't be out this year. They have to. They have to show us Metroid Prime. They have to have they that don't. one game that is in the horizon. I Every th- single E3 has had it. I don't think they're going to show Metroid Prime. They have to. Even if it's holiday next year. Or e- even if it's January. I don't think... Well, but they have to. Look, I don't think, think about they will. it. In, 20, in 2016, they had only Breath of the Wild. That was their only game, that, that conference. And that was a 2017 title. 2017, they had Mario... No, they had Metroid Prime 4. That was their like, hey, by the way, this is coming up sometime in the future. And then Bayo... No, Bayo 3 was at the Game Awards. Sorry. Um, but still, they have that game that's like in the future. If they just go to E3 and say, hey, this is what's out this year, either they're really confident that people are tuning into their directs, or I don't know. So I think Metroid Prime 4 and Pokemon Switch, God, Pokemon <laughs> Switch will be out next year. Okay. Okay. I think whatever their future game is at E3 that they're going to tease is going to be a lob past those two. Maybe. And I think it's going to be Animal Crossing. But I don't know that's enough to build that crazy... People love Animal Crossing, but it's said Metroid Prime 4 levels of hype. It know. doesn't have to be, because they're going to show up with a Smash blowout, and that's all everybody's going to be talking about anyway. But then they're going to go, oh, by the way, we want to tell you guys something new that you you don't know is coming yet. We know you want to see Metroid Prime 4. You'll see it next year. We know you want to see Pokemon Switch. You'll see it next year. Animal Crossing's coming. Boom. See, like, the fact that they have Smash Bros. this year definitely changes things. Because we kept talking about it. Like, what's Nintendo's <clears throat> big game in the holidays? It's and that. It's that. Smash makes sense. Yeah. Like, they could. 
throw Pokemon out there, but that that would be too much. It'd be Pokemon and Smash Bros. Yeah, they'll save Pokemon. Well, see, this is tough because Pokemon they want to have come out over the holiday holidays. They could, but look Metroid, at Breath of the Wild. Metroid would want to come out over the holidays, so I bet those will both be holiday twenty nineteen titles. Uh, Metroid and Pokemon. Uh huh. And I think Animal Crossing will be like the spring title, so that's why they'll be able to show something about it at E three this year to get us hyped for it coming out next year. Because we saw Yoshi at E three last yeah, year, that's right. and, and it hasn't come out yet, and we saw Kirby. Hmm. So. They're going to show a spring 2018 game, 2019 game, and I think it'll be Animal Crossing. Or Pikmin. It could be Pikmin. And I have to. Or Pikmin. Fire Emblem. Gosh, right. I mean, there's, there's... They're making a lot of They've games. got a lot to choose from. Hell, even they could even remake a Star Fox. They could port the Wii U Star Fox and make it good. They're, they will, they're going to save the port to help flesh out their new titles. That's what they're doing with these ports. It's so smart. They're spacing the ports out. To go along with the new title development. It it's is very so smart. so freaking smart. Because like, it builds up hype. Oh, God, Nintendo's doing it right. Nintendo is finally doing it. This is what they need to do with the Wii U. Yep. But, hey, they learned their lessons, you know? All right. Well, this is Chemist Sean and Bart Onyx. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Like what you saw? Check out some of our other videos. And be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. Thanks for your support. And thanks for watching.